we are continuing our series on understanding binary in C-sharp with lesson number 12. In this video, we're gonna learn about removing flags in 10 minutes or less. So I've kept the code as it was from our last lesson where we've assigned permissions to SQL and Redis, and we added permissions to the build system to Tim's permissions. Now let's remove Redis. So, you know, for whatever reason, I've lost access to Redis. I can't, I'm not allowed to access Redis anymore, which means the, the one in this position, let's call it the third position, should be removed. Well, if you remember about your, your masks and your, um, your not uh, operator, this is all you need to do. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna say Tim's permissions equals, and I'm gonna do this the long way first and I'll show you the short way of doing this. Um, Tim's, per, whoops, Tim's permissions. And I say the and, and then the not, and then we're gonna say system permissions dot Redis. Okay, remember how we use a mask. This is our mask at this point. So Redis is gonna, this is the, the mask right here. Um, we're saying not the mask. So the opposite of the mask, we're going to and that with my current permissions to get the new value. And now we're going to print that new value out again. Um, and we'll see that I have removed the one in the third spot. So there's a one right here. Um, I removed that because I, I took that out. That permission has been removed by using the and and the not with my mask, which the mask is just the enum value. So that's how you remove permissions for someone. Now, again, I wanna show you that um, I did this the long way. So this is the equivalent of saying Tim's permissions. And I can say, um, that I want to have the and equal and then the not Redis, like so. Okay, so these two lines are the equivalent of each other. Um, so either one will do the same thing. So the and equals, just like up here, the the or equals um, is, is the same, okay? So this, yes, this starts to get a little, complicated. And this is again, where I say, learning how these things work one at a time, learning how and works on its own and understanding it well, and then learning how not works on its own, understanding it well, and then learning how the, the mask works with the, with the not and the and in order to create this, um, this clearing bit, you know, the ability to clear a certain bit, um, understanding all of that, then when you use flags, it makes more sense how this works, okay? Yes, working with binary, again, it's gonna burn your brain sometimes, that's okay. Practice it, get to know how to use it. Again, learn to do it as a, um, I know this is the way to do it and it works, but then keep practicing it so that you understand it better and better over time and you get more and more comfortable with how it works so that, you don't just rely on this works and when it doesn't work, you're confused, um, but understanding why it works over time instead of trying to make yourself understand everything up front is a good way of doing it, okay? So don't don't freak out if it doesn't click the first 50 times. Um, just keep, keep at it and use these lessons to help you understand how to do these various things um, so that you know, it starts as a rule and then it turns into an understanding. Okay, so that's how to remove flags from permissions or from whatever you have, you know, whatever type of flag system you're using. And, and permissions is not the only thing that you would use this for, okay? Maybe you're creating a game and you have a whole bunch of different states and you wanna know what state something's in or it can potentially be in multiple states. And so you have a, 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 an integer that holds a value that's really just a whole bunch of flags. And then you can do the manipulation like so. This is very common in a lot of different areas. So understanding how to manipulate the bits, manipulate the flags um, can be very, very valuable uh, to you. And it's very, very performant to do it this way. Okay, so that's how to remove flags.
flags when you're using a flag system like this, this enum flag system. 